three, four, zero, six. To the average person, this is just a four digit number with no meaning. But for dozens of industries and anyone who's big into diesel engines, these numbers mean a lot more. For the uninitiated, we're talking about the Caterpillar 3406, which was and is one of the most influential and important diesel engines on the planet. So I think it's time we take a deep dive into the Caterpillar 3406 and find out just what makes it so special, so interesting, so influential, and ultimately one of the best diesel engines of all time. And most importantly, why it's still being used well after it stopped production and after Caterpillar stopped production of truck engines entirely. <laughs> All right, before we get deep into the details of the CAT 3406, we need to rewind the clock to when CAT first introduced the 3406 to better understand where it came from, why they made it, and all the generations in between. In 1925, Caterpillar was formed when two competitors in the tractor industry merged together to create Caterpillar Tractor Co., which then, in 1931, had a separate division from the main company, which was focused on engine development for applications such as generators, marine, and a lot more. Jumping all the way up to the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, Caterpillar introduced multiple engine series throughout these decades, including the 3300, the 3400, the 3500, and others, which at the time made Caterpillar the largest engine manufacturer in the world. The 3400 series in particular is where we find the 3406 engine, as well as other engines like the 3408, which is more or less a V8 version of the 3406, but that's a different engine for a different video. For the 3406 in particular, it all starts in 1973 with the 3406A, which was the very first version of the 3406, which was then followed up with the 3406B. Both the A and B version of the 3406 are incredibly similar and both feature mechanical injection. Although strangely enough, the 3406A changed from pre-combustion style to direct injection depending on the year the engine was manufactured in. For the 3406B, it was always direct injection and not pre-combustion style. And really the only important difference between the 3406A and the 3406B is the location of the injection pump. Other than that, the two engines are incredibly similar. And depending who you ask, the A and B versions of this engine are the best that were ever produced as the mechanical injection system is really bulletproof and for many diesel enthusiasts, it's superior to any kind of electronically controlled injection system. But as the story of any modern diesel engine goes, ultimately the EPA came knocking. There were new upcoming stricter emission standards, which basically forced Caterpillar to develop a new engine. But with the A and B engine being fully mechanical, CAT wasn't exactly ready to go to a fully electronic injection system, which is where we ended up with the C engine, the 3406C, which is actually a hybrid of a mechanical injection system and an electronic injection system, and really it was kind of a transitory engine. You might be asking yourself, why exactly is the C engine a mix of mechanical and electronic injection? And to put it simply, there really wasn't a need for CAT to go fully electric at that time. I do want to mention though that the C engine wasn't strictly a hybrid mechanical and electronic injection system as some of them were fully mechanical. It simply depended on the application and how the engine was spec'd out when purchased new from CAT. Interestingly enough, the Programmable Electronic Injection Control System, also known as PEEC, was designed specifically to work with the fuel system CAT had introduced on the late model 3406B engine. With this combo injection system, they were able to reduce particulate matter and emissions output while also maintaining power and fuel efficiency. However, this is generally considered to be near the bottom of the 3406 list in terms of reliability, as this was the first time CAT had introduced electronics to the 3406, and that came with a few problems. And really, the electronics on the 3406 are very, very basic. It's pretty much just electronic timing in advance, an electric fuel pump, and an electronically controlled throttle body. Other than that, it's pretty much a fully mechanical system. The C variant also included some other changes, including the introduction of 12-point cylinder head bolts as an upgrade to the A and B's six-point head bolts, as well as different bearings for the rods and some other upgrades. And again, realistically, the C engine was pretty much just a transitory engine from the A and B engine up to the E engine. So the C was kind of just there as a transition as the next generation E engine was going to be CAT's first fully electronic injected engine. Caterpillar first began producing the 3406E in 1993, and it was the last 3406 model engine, as it was also kind of a transitory engine to the CAT C15, 
which is actually very, very similar to the 3406, but not in the same engine family. Unlike the C engine though, the E engine had fantastic electronics that to this day are well known for being very reliable. Even compared to other fully electronic and diesel injection systems of the time, the 3406E was a beast in terms of reliability. That being said, it wasn't absolutely perfect. The 3406E engines with the 5EK engine serial number are well known for the crankshaft braking. The exact cause for the widespread breakage isn't exactly clear, but it's generally believed that some of the 5EK engines were made from a bad casting causing the crankshaft to break most commonly at journals one and six. There was never a recall for this problem, but supposedly CAT has fixed these engines as needed. Besides that, the 3406E engine is also well known for some pretty bad oil leaks, especially from the rear structures and flywheel housing. However, oil leaks are pretty common on pretty much all 3406E engines, so it's not exactly an E specific engine problem. By the time CAT introduced the C15, they had changed their gaskets across the board and solved pretty much all the oil leaks that we saw on the 3406 engines. The 3406E lasted from 1993 to 1999, which is kind of a short period, and it was the end of the 3406's impressive 26 year run from 1973 all the way up to 1999, and ultimately it was replaced by the CAT C15, which again is actually pretty similar to the 3406, but not exactly the same. But unfortunately, after CAT introduced the C15 and then some other engines, they ended up completely leaving the truck market in 2008 thanks to the EPA's regulations. Ultimately, the over-the-road truck engine market was actually a very small portion of their business, so it really didn't make sense for them to continue pursuing over-the-road truck engines when it became harder and harder and harder to meet the EPA's demands for cleaner engines. If you want more info on this, I recommend you check out our video covering why exactly CAT stopped making truck engines, and it goes into a lot more detail on this. I'll leave it linked in one of these corners. That being said, CAT is still supporting these engines by manufacturing parts for them, which ultimately is allowing the 3406 to stay on the road long after its death in 1999. In fact, the 3406 is so loved, so reliable, and so good all around that many owner operators are opting to keep their 3406 powered trucks on the road for as long as possible, rather than upgrading to a newer truck with a newer engine. Ultimately, all new over the road truck engines are plagued with emissions components that crush reliability. And the 3406 simply just doesn't have to deal with those garbage parts. In terms of some basic specs, we've pretty much looked over that entirely. So let's look at some of those. The 3406, regardless of year or generation, was always an 839 cubic inch or 14.6 liter inline six engine with a 5.4 inch bore and a 6.5 inch stroke. On the head, you'll find 20 four valves or four valves per cylinder, which are all driven by a singular camshaft. The engine block and the cylinder head are both made from cast iron, as you'd expect from a heavy duty diesel engine. The internals of the 3406 vary quite a lot throughout the years, but pretty much all of them are really, really strong and are very easily capable of handling significantly more power than what the 3406 makes in stock form. In terms of aftermarket support, this engine is very popular and cranking one up to 500, 600, 700, or even more power isn't too difficult. Generally, this involves turning the fuel up on the mechanical engines or tuning with the 3406E. And something like an industrial or marine cam swap is actually very popular on the 3406E and it's a very easy way to make upwards of 800 horsepower. So that's a quick lesson on the legend of the Caterpillar 3406, which has been one of the most influential and one of the most important engines in the over the road truck market, as well as many other industries. It flat out is one of the most important diesel engines of all time. And a ton of them are still on the road today, long after they died in 1999, thanks to Caterpillar still making parts for these engines, even though Caterpillar doesn't make truck engines at all anymore. Drop a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the 3406 and which generation is your favorite. Also, if you think there's anything I missed in this video or anything I got wrong, be sure to drop it down in the comments below. While you're down there, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. Be sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram and everything else. And I'll see you guys in the next one.